could sit in this chair for a thousand years and watch the woods consume the neighborhood, watch the ambitions come and go, surround me and engulf me. We're on the bus. We just took a ride through Sydney. I have no idea where we really are, except for that we are at the Amora Hotel. Is the place that we're going to be staying. I have no idea. So I've come to the realization that staying in quarantine in a hotel is a bit like being an animal in a zoo. You uh, kind of can free roam around inside your cage, but you can't go anywhere. Uh, people can see us through the windows back there if they wanted to. So maybe it's like a boring zoo where nobody wants to show up. <clears throat> uh, we never really see our feeders or our handlers. We know we're there that they are there, except for the COVID people. We we interact with them. Otherwise, our food just kind of shows up on the doorway and we get a knock and go. All right, now that we've been here a solid six days, I thought it would probably be time to give you a tour of the apartment. So it's three bedrooms with three balconies. Here's the master bedroom, which somehow Cami Kate has decided to take all for herself. Lucy and Jordan are just visiting. I'm gonna step out on the balcony here because it's a beautiful time of night. Here's what we can see of downtown Sydney. The castle looking building over there is Sydney Town Hall. The uh, opera house is directly that way. Probably a uh, half hour walk. And some other all buildings. This is the moment in the night. And we have Cami Kate's bathroom because she needs her own bathroom, apparently. This funny little entry area is because we actually have two rooms, 95 and 96. That's the magical door that our food comes in a couple times a day. We never see the people that deliver it. They just drop it off. So here's how we get dinner and breakfast at the hotel. We just heard a knock on the door about, I don't know, 30 seconds ago. And when we open it up, look out, please. Here's what you see. Just a bag on the floor. Lucy will grab it. And then Lucy can get in on the table here. So we have no idea what's for dinner tonight. We have no idea if it's going to be good or gross. Jordan, look out. And, uh... It's kind of like getting a grab bag or a, or a surprise pack. We have no idea. So. I guess this is breakfast for tomorrow. What's in there? Apple muffins. Some cereal. Apple muffins. Apple spice muffins. Cup of fruit, diced pears. Hmm. All right, looks like cereal and muffins tomorrow. Some peaches. Cool. How about dinner tonight? What do you see, Whammo? Oh, just open one at a time. Ooh, another meat pie. That is. Some salad. Another one. Another one. Here's the instructions. Some whatever. What is that? Oh, it's like a macaroni salad. Some cake. Different cake. Yay, different cake for one. It's 
It is some more poppy seed that is not split in half. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. More mac and cheese. Vegetables. Um, what the heck you call this? Any more vegetables? Mm -hmm. Salad dressing? Veggies? Anything else? Alright, here's what they brought well, for the kids for lunch today. Fat chance of that working out. You can see it's a build your own sushi. I got that alright? So I'm going to build it. I grabbed two of the rolls, salmon and a chicken schnitzel. And we're going to build it and then I'm going to force feed the kids to eat this sushi because it's something that they would never eat at home. Ta-da! I'm a sushi chef. That's really hard to say. Got it. Mmm! Yeah. Man, I'm a good chef. Well, Jordy, you hold still. I'll move the camera. Okay. Now, let's eat! Everybody take a big bite. Little. Maybe. Big old bite. So today for lunch we got lots of things. Got some mall teasers. Got so many sandwiches. Got a turkey and curry sandwich. Roast beef sandwich. Chicken and mustoni sandwich. Chicken and avocado sandwich. Chicken chili sandwich. Bought some sweet chili and sour cream chips. We got a Kit Kat, a delicious milk chocolate Kit Kat. Got some sushi rolls again. Another one. Some pears and some noodle chicken things. Noodles, original. Noodles chicken. This one's the chicken, this one's original. But just now, we got a knock on the doorway and it was unexpected. So, just like a zoo animal, we got all excited and we ran over there and a treat showed up. This, whatever a lamington is from Balfour's, it's 105 grams. See that? So I don't know what it is. It's a South Australian icon. All right, some sort of a baked good. It's cold. Feels like it was refrigerated. Let's see. Another thing that I have no idea what it is. I hope that this is coconut on it, and not some sort of gross stuff. See that? It's probably blurry. Mmm, it is coconut. Mmm, that tastes like a soft Samoa cookie. Alright, I'll come back to the U.S. when they make lamington from Balfour's. Until then, I might just eat this. Mmm, I hope the kids don't like this and I get it all. Delicious. So then we have a family area. So pretty nice setup actually. To get stuck somewhere for two weeks, this is not a bad ordeal. That glass door does open and you can go back out on the balcony, but surprise, surprise, it's the same view. I think somebody's just randomly in there hitting keys. It's like Jordan playing the piano. That's connected to a kitchen. Katie just cleaning up dinner. The cute little fridge. And the little stove down below. And range top. We've cooked a few things in there. Seems to work okay. Here's 
bedroom number two, which belongs to Lucy and Jordan. They're sharing that little bed. That's why I think it's so funny that Cammie took the big one. And closet. But... And then you can also go out to balcony number three out there. Fun testing. Jordan, it goes fast. Really fast. Lean back. Just like me. I don't like it. She likes your teeth. Jordan, it goes really fast. Oh, very good. Cammy yeah. nose is really quick. It's only five seconds. Okay, go show them what it looks like. Jordan, it will be fast. Bud. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it was fast. Open up, Jordan. It's only like 10 seconds total. Dude, you've already done it. It doesn't hurt. Open up. Hurry. Hurry quick. But, ah, 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 it makes it worse if you don't have it. It makes it worse. Yeah, there's spit. Oh, what about what? Are you holding me on? Yes. I'm trying to come here. You're okay. You're running away. Should I hold dad? Should I hold yeah. dad? I want to sit on mom's lap for this. I wonder if you're going to cough, dad. Remember dad choked last time. Kind of choked. There you go again. He's not afraid of you. Nope. One day. Bathroom number two for Lucy and Jordan. Okay, here's our friendly toilet. Pretty normal looking thing. We got a number one and a number two flush up on top. So uh, let's really give this thing a whirl. We'll give it a good old fashioned number two flush. And I think what you're gonna see is that the toilets here are angry. Let's lift this too, just for maximum show. So water actually rushes out of both sides and attacks the center, and then it just flushes straight down from there. And guess what? I've never seen the toilet bowl water actually flush the other way. Problem solved! Back past the kitchen. Our little laundry room with a semi-normal size washer and a teeny tiny dryer that fits approximately four washcloths in at a time. Look at this little guy. So you can see my hand takes up a good percentage of it. into Katie and I's room. It's nice and clean because we're not slobs, so wait. Um, about the same size as Cammie's except for no balcony. So we, I think we got hustled. There's a TV we haven't turned on yet. Probably no need to besides watching footy. And then our bath. So that's the apartment we're quarantined in. Overall, Honestly, gotta say, no complaints because it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a whole lot worse. Good morning. Today is our last day of quarantine in Sydney. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. 
decided to come out on the balcony so I don't wake up the family. Quarantine's been an interesting experience here. Um, a lot of times sitting. I could sit in this chair for a thousand years. I liked in quarantine that we didn't have to wear a mask because we weren't going anywhere. And I like that they always brought cake for dessert and that sometimes if um, we were good they bring us um, some candy and that um, we didn't have to get dressed right away and we had nowhere to go but I didn't like that we couldn't leave the building. Some things that I like about that we're here is they gave us good rolls with butter, and I get my own massive bedroom, and they give us cake for dessert, for dinner, and they give us treats for good. One thing that I, some things that I don't like about this quarantine is that we had to get tested two-ish times that we have these bracelets on our arms. These ugly bracelets. I like quarantine because we are good and we get dessert at dinner. And I don't like it because we have the quarantine. Who is ready to get out of this hotel? Me. Me. Not me. What are we going to do tonight? Wait, Not be in this hotel room? Yeah! We're going to go and see the zoo tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to go see should we, Whoa. should we go on a walk tonight? Uh, we'll have them with us. Okay. Bye. Say goodbye, hotel room. Bye. Bye.